and Facebook. Megan Maynard here coming to you live from West Lafayette, Indiana. Wanted to hop on here with you guys this morning and just get my makeup done. I just hopped in the shower. Baby's sleeping. I haven't been on here in a while, um, so I thought I would hop on here and just do my makeup with you guys this morning and then also tell you guys about um, what we're going to be doing for our fundraiser for August. I realize it's like August <laughs> what, 24th, like it's ridiculous, it's the end of the month, um, but maybe all things work out for a reason. Um, in July, I decided that any purchases of makeup, any makeup sales through My Lipstick Diaries, we were going to donate 30% of our profits from those makeup sales um, to a different nonprofit or charity or any type of um, thing that we came across. Um, last month we did, our fundraiser was for um, Together We Rise, an organization for foster care children, so we were able to don donate to them. When August came around, I really hadn't found anything yet, um, and here we are, it's August 24th, and life is busy, and I still, you know, never really made the decision of who we were going to donate to in the month of August. Um, but anyways, if you've been following my personal feed at all um, for the past week or so, um, our community, our hearts, just people really all over the place have been touched by the story of a little boy um, named Logan. He is from our community. His um, father and his family are farmers. His mother is a teacher at Lafayette Christian School, and um, he was involved in an accident um, um, a couple, oh, like a week or so ago, and he has been in, um, I believe, probably um, the Children's Hospital in Indianapolis for the last week. Very touch and go, um, with severe um, damage to his brain, and his family has um, just been really open about their faith and their experience through this situation. And I just know that it's touched a lot of people in our community. It's, it's, um, it's pointed us all back towards our faith. Good morning. Um, and just really been an eye-opener about what's really important in life and holding your children close and holding your loved ones close and all of that um, stuff. So I have decided this morning um, that for the remainder or for the month of August and for the remainder of the month, any makeup sales that come into my lipstick diaries, um, will we will be donating 30% of our profits to um, Love for Logan. So it's not a huge, it's not like I'm a millionaire or anything like that. I'm going to be donating like a huge sum of money. Um, but um, the story has just impacted me so much just as a mother and as a mother of boys. And um, so that's what I'm going to do for the remainder of the month. So. Having said all that, I guess I should go ahead and start my makeup. Um, and if you guys, I will link their Facebook page below. It is called Love for Logan V, I believe is what it is. Um, Vanderclete, I believe is his last name. Um, so if you guys want to check out his story, you can of course do that. And then I will also link their GoFundMe page. So if you're not really interested in makeup, but you would still like to make a donation, I will go ahead and link that page for you as well. In the comments below, of course, that will be after the video. So if you're watching live, um, you'll just have to hold on just a few minutes. Um, so anyways, I just got home from Phoenix, had an amazing trip, just relaxing and laying by the pool and literally doing nothing. It's been, it was so nice to get away. Um, of course, I miss the boys a lot, um, but you know, a little mom vacation was wonderful. So um, I'm back to reality this morning and I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup um, with you guys and then we'll, I guess, get started with our day. So. I'm going to be using a color called Wheat this morning and my my hack brush here. And I got to get my mirror out because I can't really see. Like, sun is in my eyes and <laughs> it's kind of bright. I got to move my mirror. All right, here we go. Also, if anyone is local and you're thinking that you'd really like to maybe try this makeup um, before you buy, you can um, comment below, direct message me, and I will get you set up for a color match here in the next week. Really won't take any longer than like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I can meet you out at a coffee shop. You guys can come over to my house if you like. Anything like that. Super simple. Um, we can do a color match. We can actually try the foundation on your face, whatever you want. If you're not local and you'd still like to um, try the makeup, you can direct message me again as well. Direct message is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and I can help you choose colors over Facebook. So, real easy to do that as well. So this is the highlight color and I like to use it a lot in this cheek area because that's where I have a lot of my like discolored discoloration. Just from like freckles, I'm assuming probably like sun damage. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna use a little bit lighter highlight here in the eye area, just right in here. And you can see how nice and bright that color is. 
really helps that under eye area kind of like fade away a little bit. Now I am like, remember recovering from a little travel, so I'm a little tired this morning. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to this detail hack brush, which I absolutely love for my contour color. And I guess I'm going to be using a color called stone today. See how dark that is. Isn't that fun? So I'm going to go ahead and use this end of my brush. I've been using both ends, but today I'll just use this because I'm feeling a little tired and <laughs> just tired. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to contour right under my cheekbone there, both sides. Now this is just like a day at home makeup, so nothing really crazy and special. So you'll be able to see how fast this makeup can be um, if you're a fast makeup person. Um, I put on I put on a full coverage look for the most part just because I do have that discoloration but you can definitely get away with um, a light coverage look for this if you're someone who just is not a huge makeup wearer or something along those lines so now I kind of just take my 30 second hack brush here and just blend a little bit just like that If you want to blend those lines out anymore, you absolutely can. Some people, you know, like it a little more. Um, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Defined. Some people like it a little more defined. I don't mind a little defined contour line. So I'm going to use this really pretty color of blush. It is called Nude. It's my favorite. I use it almost every day. And even if I feel like I need a little bit more color, color on my skin, I'll still use nude as my first like blush and then I'll go in with like one of the second ones just because I love, I don't know, I just love the tone of this color. They did a great job when they came up with nude. In this color you can also use, all the cheek colors, you can also use as a lip color. And I noticed this weekend while I was out in Phoenix, I kind of did a little more um, lip colors than I usually do because I'm usually a nude girl for lips. Um, but I use like the ruby on my lips and it's kind of almost like a lip stain. So that's kind of fun if you're someone that likes to put on a color in the morning and have it kind of just stay there. I'm not going to say it's a lip sense color because it's not. Um, but it will definitely stain your lips and give your lips a little bit of color. This is the Honey Highlighter. So I just like to use this right here like on my cheekbones just like that. Just for a little extra shine or glow if you will um, and that's pretty much it like that is the 3d foundation like in a nutshell so you can see how you're getting that definition under the cheeks getting the nice blush color getting a little bit of that luminous glow that's super popular right now and on trend but also just brings shape to your face now I did not I do have my eyeliner on and my eyelashes but I have not done any eyeshadows yet so here's some of my eyeshadows these are the eyeshadows that i took to vegas this month and also the shadows that i took to phoenix so i will just do um i've been really loving of course i still love this color it's called ken and i actually i'm thinking it might actually be out of stock unless they brought it back already um but it's a really pretty um purple plum plumish it's plumish when you get it on there and I just like to do a little bit right there in the crease you don't even have to wear a lot of this just a little bit just to kind of give some depth to the eye area and I kind of just blended it oh I almost just took off my eyelashes guys <laughs> these are my one two lashes and I love them like at first they were kind of hard to, to, to work with a little bit difficult but as I have been wearing them more and more I love them okay now I'm going to use a little bit of Sabrina right there and just fill in just a tiny bit right in there oops I don't recommend <laughs> I do not recommend doing your um, eye makeup after you have your lashes on but that's the power of um, <laughs> live video okay super easy all right guys thanks for hanging out with me a little bit this morning it's a little dark in here sorry um, so for the month of August any makeup purchases through my lipstick diaries um, 30% of the profits will be going to Love for Logan. Um, we have a, like a week left of this month, 
a little less than a week. So if you have any refills that you need, want to try some new colors, new, some new eyeshadows, uh, if you want to try the 3D foundation, just let me know. The best way to contact me is to direct message me through Facebook, um, My Lipstick Diaries. And we can help you guys out. And we can also help um, Logan's beautiful family. And um, if you are interested in reading more about their story, I will link their Facebook page below so you can check it out. And then I will also link their GoFundMe page because um, that's another great way to support them. So thank you all for watching. Have a fabulous Thursday and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.